it's Carlos the Ultimate Fitness Trainer once again. Thank you so much for watching the video. So today I'm doing a video about four main exercises. When I say main exercises, the exercises that we see a lot of the times we've been doing uh, in wrong form. So I'm going to very simply explain as to what we see a lot of the times when we do squats like this. See a lot of guys doing squats like this. what it looks like. Now, for the guys that are a lot more experienced and know exactly what I'm going to say. Now, in order to maintain a squat in the right form, you've got to make sure your spine is basically working to a wall if you like. Okay? I know this is, there's a lot of coverage on our spine anyway, but one more thing we've got to maintain is, is a complete neutral spine. So your back is going to maintain sort of the strength, sort of posture. In order to allow your legs to basically bend at 90 degree angle to a 90 degree angle and come back up. So the form really on this particular one, there's a lot of stances you can use, but uh, just, just from a neutral point of view for this video, you're going to go down, keep it back straight, come back up and squeeze in, yeah? Okay. That's one of the things that are very important. Not like, you know, a lot of people will think that's quite a correct squat, so that's one of them. Now, another one I'm going to move on to. Is um, the lunge okay? Now, a lot of people lunge, and when they lunge, they either lunge too short, okay? So, as you can see, so it's a very short lunge, so that knee is very close to my foot, okay? Uh, as I bring my foot forward, my, my knee kind of like overtakes the line of the, the toe itself, so that's really bad for the knees, that causes lots of tr tr trouble as well. A lot of people lean forward too much as well, putting lots of pressure on the knees, which is not really essential. So. A squat, a neutral squat would be something that look like more or less that, okay? So my knee doesn't go past the line on my toe, okay? I keep my back straight, my shoulders back, and I lunge. So this knee really over touching the floor and come back up, okay? Now you see a lot of people doing all sorts of things like this, like this, leaning forward, putting loads of pressure on the, on the joints for no reason. So make sure you're obviously keeping your back straight, long and stance, and great form. I'm going to move on to this one. This, this is probably a classic, really. Um, I'm just going to put a very light way just to show you something. Right? You see a lot of people here putting it, not just here, but all over the world doing this particular exercise. Loads of weight on, and this is what they do. Okay? See, believe it or not, some people pack the weight, some people lean back like this, and they've got loads of weight on off each. It doesn't have benefit us at all doing that particular exercise if you're going to do it that way. Now this exercise works the mid, mid back, okay? So really the form really is to keep your feet slightly, slightly wider than the shoulder width apart, depending on the machine. The focus is to bring the bar towards my chest, squeezing the, my back and letting it go to a relaxing position. So essential contraction, squeezing the back and then relaxing the back like so, okay? Now, again, we see loads of those. Honestly, I mean, uh, over the years, I can tell you, honestly, if you were to put all the clips together and put a little sort of video, it would be a comedy. Because it's very it's much so a exercise that a lot of people still to this day don't perform correctly. Over this side. Now, this one is, a, is the lat pull down, again, for the back. Uh, I'm sure you guys probably have seen. A few comedy shows on this one as well. Uh, a lot of people, what they tend to do, because they put a lot of weight on, and in order not to look silly, what they tend to do, they're trying to basically move the weight. They are moving the weight, absolutely, I'm not disputing that. But what they're not doing is, they're not moving the weight correctly in order to activate the, the actual muscles. Okay, so it's just, it's just this. So they'll put all the weight on there, and instead of actually pulling there correctly, okay, they, they're basically doing this. So they, they pull back with the lower back and then they pull in like this. Completely correct, okay? So the correct form to do this, however, there's a lot of stances, there's a lot of hand grips you can use, over hand grip, uh, under hand grip, but really I'm just going to show you the basic way. It's bringing it down, sliding to the chest position, squeezing your lap, like this in the size, which lats, and then letting it stretch and then squeezing again. Now, the tendency is, is people a lot of the times, which is not 
very bad. A lot of people are lifting the neck, which is sometimes tendency, it's just because you're getting into the exercise, you're lifting that. But try to keep a neutral sort of uh, spine so there's no strain on the discs. Okay, really focusing your lats at the bottom, really getting those latissimus sides to squeeze and relax. Remember, muscle contraction are made by concentric contraction and central contraction. Avoid minimum minimum swinging okay i know when it's when it's heavy uh tendencies to swing a little bit if you have to squeeze it, swing a little bit to put more tension on the muscle fantastic and then make sure you control the negative so that's for today those four exercises check your forms really important remember your muscles can't see the weight it doesn't matter how much weight you're lifting if, if you're not correctly your muscles are not going to develop you're going to create a lot of injuries inflammations around the joints of which in the long term you're going to pay a lot for that so i would say reduce the weight perform your exercise properly you avoid the injuries you perform better and ultimately you'll feel better and ultimately you you, you will turn more and you'll grow more so here we are another video guys check us out on youtube channel which is carlos trainer also on youtube or oh, sorry on instagram which is carlos trainer 10 and with all that said guys stay happy stay healthy stay fit have a great day take care yourself that's all it is believe in yourself and do not allow external events to dictate your present situation. Two things of which I think is really important in order to become a better version of yourself is gratitude and discipline. Get healthier, get happier, become your greatest version. A huge part of development for ourselves is to believe in ourselves and Believe in your intuition in order to become better every day, in order to ask your own self, am I doing the best I can in order to become a better version of me? Remember, while you become your greatest versions, don't forget, have fun as well, because a lot of times you can be very serious as well. So have fun, like I always do, although doing these videos, and it gets really serious sometimes about coaching, training, psychology, problems, everything. Uh, it's always sometimes to become a kid as well and just enjoy and laugh, laugh, laugh.